Hi Virgo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another week ahead. Uh, Virgo, this is from the 1st to the 7th of April. So what's the overall energy for Virgo spirit this week? A major arcana Virgo for you is the star card. Alright, a lot of you have been getting the star card. At least four or five of Zodiacs have got this card already. So things are moving in a very, very good direction for you as well, Virgo. Maybe some major wish of yours is coming true. Or you are being guided in the right direction. I don't know. Let's take out one card for each day, Monday to Sunday and figure it out. What's the star card? What is this wonderful wish for a Virgo which possibly is coming true this week. Alright, Spirit tell me, Monday to Sunday for Virgo, 1st to the 7th of April. Monday to Sunday, Spirit, one card for each day. Monday, Two of Wands, Tuesday, Six of Pentacles, Wednesday, Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Ace of Swords for Saturday and Sunday, Knight of Wands. All right. Ah, things could have been overall going a little slow for you, Virgo, from what I feel. But I think things are going to be changing by the end of the week. Uh, I do see the first one, two, three, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days, uh, Virgo. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting for, you've put in the work, you're waiting for reciprocity, you're waiting for something, feeling a bit discontent, when, 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 when. But the good part is, Virgo, uh, thurs Thursday and Friday, I do see you are doing a so lot of self-work or working on yourself. Yes, you could be still waiting, I think, on uh, Friday for uh, things to start moving and you kind of you know, like, when, is it ever, when are things ever going to speed up in my life? And suddenly on Saturday, I hear news. There is some quick news which is going to open the doors for you. And by Sunday, you will be excited once again. It's like that excitement, that passion is back and you're looking forward to something which you have been waiting for. Now, I don't know what that is and what this news is. So let's clarify these cards and figure it out. Before I clarify these cards for you, I'm going to take an affirmation as well for you, Virgo. Let's see what um, what you should affirm to yourself to have this good news come your way. And the card here is Archangel Raphael says, "I'm happy, healthy, and abundant." So don't let you know this waiting period or this you know period where you things are slow break you down. It could be a test from the universe. How much are you willing to, you know, trust us that what you are looking for is coming or your wish is coming true? Are you going to get sad and depressed or are you going to say, no, I believe the best is yet to come? So this uh, card says, you are blessed to attract this angel card for Archangel Raphael brings health, healing and abundance. He will help you to develop your intuition and inner vision. Call, him, call on him if you need help in these areas now. He also protects travelers during journeys. So this is a fortuitous card if you're about to travel. All right, I think you're about to because on the weekend, you're, you're looking rather excited. He also protects travelers during journeys. So this is a fortuitous card if you're about to travel. If you are a healer or wish to be one, Archangel Raphael will direct pure divine energy to you. He works on the green ray of healing and balance. So visualize yourself surrounded by a clear green light and invoke his guidance. So your affirmation, Virgo, remember this, I am happy, healthy and abundant. All right, so now let's put this here. And then the star card is also a card of healing, by the way. Okay, so Spirit, tell me now what's happening here. Let's start with Monday. Why the two of wands for Virgo? What's the two of wands for Virgo spirit? Okay, you're starting. You, you, you want to take that risk and you want to jump off that cliff, right? Like right now, if not yesterday, Virgo. So on Monday, you'll be saying, when, 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 when? I'm itching to take that risk. I want to jump off that cliff. I want to start that brand new chapter of my life. But maybe you're having to hold back. Maybe you're waiting for a decision or you're trying to figure out which is the right path for you. 
I do see you sitting by the window, imagining that, you know, that exciting brand new chapter of your life, but you having to wait for something. So, Monday seems to be a, 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 a day when you could be wanting or itching to have that new beginning. Yeah, because you know, somewhere you know that once you get that news or once that communication comes in, it's going to be like a wish fulfillment. It's going to give you satisfaction. It's going to make you jump with joy. And this is what you're looking forward towards. Right. So Tuesday, what happens then, Spirit? What's the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. I think you're doing everything right. You're putting in all the effort. You're putting in all the effort and in the hope that things start to speed up quicker quicker than than possible uh, give me more for the six of pentacles six of pentacles six of pentacles for tuesday you're waiting for that news you're waiting for that news you're waiting for some transformation you have done the work so it says you've put in enough effort and you're continuing to do so from what i feel and uh, what you're waiting for now is the transformation time you're waiting for a message of good news which can spur you into that action mode but i do see on wednesday you are still kind of waiting virgo i, I can't lie about that because i have the four of cups here it's like you're wishing dreaming fantasizing you know kind of thinking of the best case scenario but you're having to wait like this person is saying when 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 i'm bored i'm discontent um i i need this i need to you know have this start now uh four of cups four of cups emperor yeah this is like it's almost like you know exactly what where you want to go what you want to do you want to take life you know, back in your power, back in control, and you're feeling pretty good about your, you know, whatever decisions you're making. But with the two of swords energy, I think you're still feeling a little blocked. It's like, you know, you have, this could be planning time for you. Maybe the universe is giving you time to work on yourself or, you know, do some healing work for yourself or prepare for the changes that are yet to come into your life. Uh, but I, that's exactly what I see you doing on Thursday. This is like Virgo sitting head down, working on themselves. Maybe you're, you know, learning something new or just practicing something over and over again in anticipation for uh, that new beginning of yours. So tell me about Thursday. What's the Eight of Pentacles? That's the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo. Hermit, yeah. This could, this could be uh, Virgo, you feeling, uh, and Virgo, uh, Hermit is your card, by the way, Hermit. But this could also be you're making some very wise decisions, wise choices, working on yourself, maybe feeling a little lonely at, at times, but that's not, that's not taking you away from still working towards your goals you are putting in a lot of effort on thursday as well even though that movement that you've been waiting for maybe hasn't come but you're not wasting any time it's almost like the universe has given you some time to prepare to just heal yourself or balance your life out or learn new skills before you get the green light and no wonder the uh, the this uh, affirmation card kept talking about imagine yourself on the clear green light and invoke his guidance maybe you're waiting for that green light it's like standing at a traffic signal that's the you know energy i'm getting it's like there's a long trip i mean jumble of cars and Virgo stuck in the middle and saying you know what I don't know there's a red light I don't know when the green light will happen when this all this traffic will clear when will I move forward and well I think it's going to be a little bit of waiting so I have this little book in my backpack let me just read a couple of chapters because I'm at standstill right now right so I think you're using your time pretty well even though I do see even on Friday uh, there you are still kind of waiting uh, for a sword spirit for Friday Friday ah see all this healing work that you've done on your uh, on yourself you needed this Virgo you needed to rest a little you needed to nest a little maybe you've been through a lot of emotional turmoil in the past your heart needed to heal before this new chapter could begin and I think by the end uh, second half of Friday things are going to change in a very big way there's a tower happening tower is is like a sudden shake up if you've been in limbo land uh, for the 
you know major part of the week first to maybe the fifth or something by on the sixth or fifth you are by the second half you you get this news which is going to shake up your life tell me about the tower spirit what's this tower bringing what's a sudden change breakthrough that's coming towards um, virgo now what's this tower bringing sun Oh right. Okay. So if you've been feeling lack, or if you've if you've been feeling left out, or you've been anticipating rejection, uh, Virgo is going to be the absolute opposite. It's replaced by the Sun card, and the Sun card is like all. It's almost like Virgo. Imagine if you look out your window and there's this ugly, tall structure, and um, you can't see the sun, right? and you've been waiting the house is in darkness and you feel you know this will never change and i'll always have to face this ugly structure outside my house suddenly there's a tower that i mean tower moment which breaks down this tower the government sends a bulldozer and one morning you wake up and say oh the tower is gone i can see the sun again and the sun is the happiest card in the deck so i think by friday itself there's some good news coming it's going to clear your path by um, saturday i see you absolutely clear in your mind goal oriented ready for the future let's see saturday spirit ace of swords what's the ace of swords for saturday for virgo one more fruitful events you'll start planning after maybe a period of delay two of cups yes feeling totally balanced you are going to feel totally good it's like whatever you were wishing for and wondering when it's going to happen you will feel so good and so balanced um let me take more let me take more spirit yes after a period of feeling nothing is going to happen and nothing is going to happen maybe expecting the worst and feeling heartbroken this uh, uh tower is coming in on the week, uh, end of the week i think the universe has been testing your strength virgo look at this not just testing your strength trying to make you regain your strength this was designed for a purpose you were meant to shut that door and stay in hermit mode for a little while so you could be exactly sure of where you want to go next and also maybe you've had some emotional pain or maybe your body was tired you needed this time out to do nothing at all and when you thought nothing was happening the universe was changing your world i have a feeling eight to eight to one see this is sudden movement again it says sudden movement and quick decisions so friday second half i think start expecting this tower to start it is going to be a happy one it's going to take you out of your limbo so don't lose hope absolutely not okay so sunday i see you very excited jumping with joy and you know the, the horse is ready to gallop and somebody is beating their drums and saying guess what i'm moving forward now so tell me about the night of wands what's this excitement all about on sunday one more ace of cups wonderful okay you find you you're realizing yes you are realizing i what this is what you were waiting for my god four of wands uh, if you were waiting for your ships to come in uh, virgo look at what the card says moving forward growth and distance maybe you were waiting for a green light to allow you to move forward right so ace of cups is a card of uh, you feeling emotionally very happy ending a past chapter of hurt and pain and this is over all my 10 swords are done i've healed my heart and now i'm in the ace of cups starting a brand new chapter it's going to be very very exciting for you virgo but what spirit is trying to say we had to give you this time we had to give you this time for a bit of self care self love just to take care of yourself you've done the work and whatever work you have done in this hermit time of yours you will be rewarded for that whatever effort you've been making by yourself in your single time you 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 will be recipro reciprocated by the universe you're going to be rewarded for this virgo you are leaving this past sadness behind now and moving towards your two of cups a very very balanced happy life and yeah things are going to start moving really quickly after that this is a major wish of yours which is going to be coming true Yes, uh, don't lose hope. That's why I do these readings for the week ahead, Virgo. It's like Monday to Thursday. 
do not lose hope continue to rest take care of yourself and work on whatever this goal of yours is even though you may see nothing happening please remember the universe is moving heaven earth everything to make this happen for you because once the sun starts to shine your movement cannot be restricted there'll be such quick movement after that you'll be gasping for breath right so take this time out enjoy this time in fact i would say i mean once you start the action time you won't get a moment's rest but it's going to be good movement you were waiting for this so just don't lose hope in the first four days of the week all right so that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste